Okay, so I had this little, uh, it's a wireless mic pack. It's for uh, a lapel mic. Um, I've, had, I've had it for years. Um, and so I wanted to try and use it for um, doing kind of screencast videos um, because... I was hoping that I could play music and have the mic going and um, still be able to hear myself clearly. So uh, I haven't tested that out yet, but um, because the mic pack is wireless, it uses a 9-volt battery. And I didn't have a 9-volt battery. And honestly, I don't want to keep buying 9-volt batteries for something that I don't need to be wirelessly right now. Um, and while I am able to solder and I actually solder okay and would be able to do a solder job, I didn't want to make this p fix uh, permanent either. I wanted to be able to um, use the wall, uh, the power from the wall, um, to power the mic pack, but um, also when I need to be able to use a battery. So. I got this um, uh, 6 volt, 300 milliamp um, adapter. Uh, basically what I did was I just cut the, the, um, the other end of the plug off so that I now have the two wires. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I think so. So one wire has um, kind of white dashed lines on it. I know that that's my positive wire. So my positive wire goes on the positive side and actually if I were to remove the battery pack you would be able to see the little battery symbol and it shows a positive side. So this is my positive, this is my negative. Um, I simply took the 9 volt battery and uh, used some electrical tape to cover up the battery terminals so that, uh, so that those aren't actually conducting. Um, because I don't want the power from the, the wall adapter to go into the battery. Um, I'm willing to bet that will make the battery explode. Um, so that's why I did that. I covered those up. And then I simply stuck the wires next to the terminals and um, put the battery in place to hold the wires in place. So really simple... Um, simple way to take a wall adapter and make it work for your 9 volt battery. Now if your 9 volt battery uses the the little clip on ends um, you might need to go buy one of the clip on ends that so you can reverse that um, and then uh, attach that to your wire but the the principle would be the, ex the exact same. You just need one extra piece, and I'm sure you could get those at like a Radio Shack or something for super cheap. Um, so yeah.